First of all, we'd like to thank you for this opportunity to talk with you today. The Chairman's Award means a lot to us because we're a team that really tries to be a role model and give back to FIRST. There's a lot that we do on this team, but first, we'd like to show you this video so you can see it all for yourself. Like a beautiful garden, our team has grown strong through the nurturing of parents, teachers, and industrial mentors. They share their experience, support us, and teach us valuable skills. We've put these skills to work by mentoring many teams in both FRC and FTC. 341 helped our team in a number of ways. First of all, they were the folks that we went to to get the idea. And then secondarily, they helped us convince our headmaster and board that this was a great idea for our school. We are also firmly rooted in our local community, from the demonstrations we hold in elementary schools and libraries, to the strong support we receive from our school. Team 341 has really changed the climate in the school district. It's helped to increase awareness among the students for careers in the field of science and technology. Ms. Daisy can also be found throughout our region and around the world, bringing the message of FIRST to science museums, trade shows, and even pro basketball games. To celebrate International Youth Day and the FIRST mission, Miss Daisy journeyed to the United Kingdom to demonstrate at the Farnborough International Air Show in partnership with BAE Systems. While over 35,000 people around the world have driven Miss Daisy, we never forget that the spark of inspiration happens one person at a time. One young girl, Katie Trageser, attended our first ever demonstration at an elementary school back in 2000. She later became our team captain and is now studying aerospace engineering at Penn State University. For over a decade, Miss Daisy has been reaching out and bringing the first message to millions through newspapers, television, radio, books, and film. In the fall of 2009, Miss Daisy was featured nationally in the PBS documentary Gearing Up. The film was broadcast to 90% of the public television market, reaching millions of homes. Miss Daisy also works closely with our congressional and state representatives who attend our events, provide funding, and even invite us to speak about FIRST in the state capitol. There must have been hundreds, if not thousands, of people who saw the robotics teams in actions and uh, were able to enjoy them and also to appreciate the, the level of skill and expertise it took to put the machines together. Team in a Box is an instructional DVD that we've created as a free resource for all FRC teams. The next update will include closed captioning and an updated technical section. Ramp Riot is an annual off-season competition hosted by our school. For thousands of students, Ramp Riot is their first exposure to robotics. In fact, 75% of teams at the Philadelphia Regional train their rookies at Ramp Riot. When I first went to Ramp Riot, I didn't expect it to be on the grand scale that it was. I was interested to see that all the kids are working together and learning from each other. In two years, over 120 girls have taken part in our Girls in Gear interactive Girl Scout program. The Scouts learn about machines, meet role model engineers, but more importantly, they learn about the power they have to change their lives. Being on FIRST truly has changed my life. It has shown me what I want to do in the future. It has just taught me skills about working with other people and has given me so many opportunities I would not have had if I had not joined this team. So as you can see, mentoring others is one of the central missions of our team. Without our mentors and sponsors, we would not be the team that we are today. We are so grateful and we've really learned so much that we really want to give back and help others. We hope that efforts such as Ramp Right and Team in a Box will spread our knowledge to the thousands of students and mentors in the FIRST community. As a team, we try to strike a balance between impacting vast numbers of people and still having a personal effect where we can share our experiences one-on-one. -on -one. We hope that these interactions change lives. Robotics has changed my life. I attended the very first Ramp Riot in 2000 when I was in third grade, and what I saw that day is what convinced me to join robotics in high school. My experiences as a part of FIRST have cultivated my own passion for technology. We've all been inspired by our experiences in FIRST, and we want to show others all of the incredible opportunities that are out there. In our 11th season as an FRC team, Ms. Daisy continues to plant the seed of FIRST in our students, our community, and ultimately our world. Thank you for your time. I'm Jenny Herjek. I just graduated from the team, and on the team I was a part of Build and Awards. I'm Ryan. I'm going into my senior year, and I did the uh, Build Mechanical team. I'm Gina Triolo, and I also just graduated from the team, and during my four years I did a lot of mechanical and design, but also um, a lot of the awards, helped out a little with media, programming, a little bit of everything. Well, 
I was pretty nervous um, the first few weeks, maybe even the first few months of being on robotics. I really didn't know quite what I was doing. People were telling me to do different jobs. I had to learn it all. And then once I got more experience and I got more involved in the team, I, I started to really see what we were all about here. We were all about teaching those little lost kids and bringing them up to become veterans who would then teach more kids and spread our values and our message onto each new generation. And I guess that's how I feel about it now. Well, see, unlike Ryan, I wasn't actually nervous about joining robotics, <laughs> but I should have been <laughs> because um, <laughs> no, I came on team. I was all excited about learning because you know I, I mean, I had grown up playing with like Legos and Connects, and that was the extent of my building knowledge. So I came in and I was like, okay, well, if I watch these guys, you know, build a robot, I'll know how to do it too. I'll just do what they do. So I got put on the task of building the twin, and um, you know, with a couple other helpers, but I was there a lot, so I kind of like took charge of it. Except it wasn't the best robot since it didn't have any right angles at all. Uh, so that was not the best, but see, something good came out of it because, um, well, because I messed up, uh, you know, a couple of the veterans kind of came in to help me and took me step by step through building the robot, and I really got a chance to learn by doing, because they still had me do the work, they just helped guide me through it, and that was probably one of the most rewarding experiences I've had on the team. I also got my hands on the, the joysticks once, and ran the robot into a wall. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it actually was fun. I was like, see, afterwards, I was absolutely like horrified. I was like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do when they see this? Like, this is going to be awful. They're going to like kick me off the team or something. And then we got back to the pit and everybody's like, oh yeah, something to fix, yeah. Like, these kids are, these kids are awesome. Oh my god, when I first started on the team, I was so nervous because unlike Ryan and Gina, I started as a junior, so I was already like two years behind everyone else, but I kind of like just jumped in head first and I really like took time to learn everything and it became a really rewarding experience because by the end of my first year, I told people I was a rookie and they didn't even believe me. So that was really good. And I've definitely taken away from that that you, it's good to try new things and it's really rewarding. And if you work hard, people won't even realize you're new at it. Don't be afraid to like ask the upperclassmen for help. They like even if they're busy, they still want you to like learn because this is really like a learning experience and it's all about mentorship and if the new kids don't learn, then what's the team going to be in 4 years from now? So really don't be afraid to ask questions. Well, again, don't be nervous. It's going to be okay. <laughs> so there's true. there's a lot of really nice people here. I guess my best advice is to take advantage of your surroundings. I mean, there's so many people here who know a lot about what they're doing, probably a lot more than you think, but they want you to learn too. So ask questions. I'm going to piggyback off of Jenny a little bit. The, the importance of asking questions, because when new people come onto the team, usually they're like really shy and they don't want to ask anything. But, um, you know, even like the simplest questions about like, you know, how do you survive build season? Um, those, like, they give you a lot of insight into um, our team and what it's like to be a kid on the team and what you can get out of it. And just asking questions about the robot, like, oh, what's that? What does it do? How does it work? You'll learn a lot more than you think you will from one simple question. Because some of our mentors, they'll start off on one question and they'll go on to a bunch of different tangents and you'll be like, wow, you know, this is incredible. I had no idea this person knew so much. So you can learn a lot from one question. This is what I've learned. If you can't beat them, join them. Everyone may seem a little bit crazy, but really join in and it's a lot of fun. I think um, my favorite part of the team um, was just working in the shop during build season, um, especially when I was new to the team, because I didn't know a lot, but I really got to learn a lot from the other people, and I got to have hands-on experiences, even though I didn't like know exactly what I was doing all the time. So it really gave me a chance to learn a lot while having fun, and then when the robot went out in the field, I could say, hey, you know, I built that. So I think build season was my favorite part of the year. 
My favorite part of robotics was going to the competitions. There was just so much energy there. It was absolutely fantastic. And then I got to see the robot that I'd worked for hours and hours on, that we'd all worked for hours on, out there competing on the field, and that was a great feeling. Uh, one of my favorite experiences of working on the team was working in the pit. Even though it was crazy and really hard at times, it was a really fun and rewarding experience when we won on the field or even when we lost, it was really fun. In the pit, we would fix the robot. Um, the chain this year kept always coming off and we'd have to fix that in between um, matches. And it's always really frenzied and people are running around and Jared's in the corner pacing, which drives everyone nuts. But in the end, it was all, it's all worth it. Um, one of the most important things that I've really taken away from this experience is my passion for engineering. Before I joined the team, I had no idea what I wanted to do, and just um, the passion that I've cultivated on this team is something I think I'll take throughout life. Well, I guess the most important thing that I've learned being on the team that I'm going to take with me um, is you know, knowing that it's always a good idea to take chances. I, While I've been on the team, I've taken a couple chances, and then also because of my experiences here, um, I've taken some that I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't joined the team and it shows me that you know even if you're afraid to try something new it's always worth it because you'll learn something from it if even if you mess up a couple times it's okay because the next time you do it you'll know what to do and it's definitely worth it because it opens up a lot more opportunities than you ever even knew were there Um, I think one of the things that sets our team apart is um, the camaraderie that we have between the students and the mentors. You know, you like will look at uh, you'll look up at us in the stands and see a bunch of people cheering with daisy hats and flower pots and all kinds of stuff. And you know, other people think we're just crazy, but it, we're not because we just we love what we do. We love each other. Just we get along so well. It's one big family, one big happy family, and. I think that's one of the great things about here is as soon as you join, even if you're new, you're just pulled right into this big family. Um, one thing that also I think really sets us apart from maybe other teams is that our team is really a team all year round and not really just during build season or competition season, but we have activities going on, demonstrations. Our team never stops, never sleeps, and I think that really just sets us apart. And like Gina said, that, that's what makes us a family is we're there for each other all year round. Another thing about our team is that we're not just concerned with ourselves. We go out in the community and we do all kinds of demonstrations and we're there for all the other teams too. And we always have been and that's something we value. And well to add on to what Ryan said, um, you know, we go out in the community but when we start something, like start working with a group of people or something, you know, we keep at it. We keep going and keep building on our own progress and that helps us to, you know, become that has helped us to gain the reputation that we have as a team. Um, the fact that, you know, with Girls in Gear, you know, we started, it started small with a few Girl Scouts and we did it the next year and we're like reaching out to a lot of people. We keep reaching out to new groups of people, but we keep those um, links between those that we have mentored so that they can continue to grow. Well, in the fall, I am going to Princeton University, and I'm going to be studying computer science in their engineering school. Um, and also, uh, one of the things I really like about Princeton is that, you know, besides just the curricular like classes I'll be taking, um, they have what's called the Princeton Autonomous Vehicle Engineering Group. And so they actually have like a full-size SUV that they have programmed to run autonomously. And currently, they're trying to get it to pass the New Jersey driver's test, so it'll be the first car ever to have its own driver's license. So, I mean, using some of the stuff I've learned from robotics, but I'll probably be learning a ton of new stuff. Like, that's definitely something I'm going to be involved in when I'm there. It kind of just, my passion for engineering that I've learned here can be, now be transferred there. But also, of course, I'll come back and visit. In the fall, I will be attending Johns Hopkins University to study engineering. Even though I don't know what type of engineering I want to do yet, I'm really excited to experience all types of engineering and really find out what I like. One award that I got was uh, the Society of Women Engineers Award, and that just recognized 
women who excelled in the areas of math and science. Also, the BIE system scholarship. Um, the last award that I got was the Learning Interest Award, and that just showed that I had a real passion for learning. So, I, well, I also got the Society of Women Engineers Award um, that recognizes uh, girls who've done well in math and science. And um, another award I got was the Semper Fidelis Band Award because in my small little bit of spare time, when I'm not at robotics, I'm involved in band, so I don't get a lot of downtime. But it's all good because I love what I do. So. Um, and then I got the Computer Department Award, and my favorite of all the awards um, was the Paul Allaire Medal and Scholarship that is given to one student on the first team that becomes a Hall of Fame team that year, and it's a $10,000 scholarship. So it's a very exciting and very helpful for my family 